Police in Hong Kong say they have arrested two men in connection with a mob attack at a suburban train station. But the video from that scene shows a much larger group of people, dozens of men, in fact, armed with clubs and sticks. They attacked a crowd of pro-democracy protesters. CNN's Anna Corrin has that story. Terrifying new scenes of violence after seven long weeks of tense protests in Hong Kong. Dressed in white, attack in unison, bludgeoning anti-government campaigners as they return from another bitter demonstration. Masked and armed with metal poles and wooden sticks, the men beat people, chasing them out of subway cars and out of the station. When the police got there, they saw lots of people, around a hundred of them. One patrol car of police is not enough to deal with the situation. The command and control centre then sent out our colleagues with sufficient gear. Police admit that they took over 40 minutes to respond to the attack on Sunday night. As defenceless people were bashed, dozens hospitalised, at least six now in critical or serious condition. Police on Monday had to deny accusations that they allowed Hong Kong's organised crime gangs, known as triads, to attack anti-establishment protesters. We can't just arrest people who are wearing white. We will deal with both sides fairly. The rift between those two sides may never have been so deep as now, as Hong Kong's embattled chief executive digs in her heels. They openly challenged the nation's sovereignty, tested the limits of one country, two systems, and hurt the nation's feelings. They outraged the city. The Communist Party says any challenge to its authority in Hong Kong is the red line that cannot be crossed. But with more protest demonstrations planned, Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement appears willing to stare them down. The government and the unknown men in white who attacked them. Anna Corrin, CNN, Hong Kong.